Welcome. So this is Julia Among the Stars. Uh, this is a point and click adventure. Came out a few years ago. Didn't hear actually anything about it. Completely um, off my radar when it originally came out. But I ran across it uh, know, maybe about a year ago. And I've thought about playing it before. But never pulled the trigger. But since I've been on a point and click binge of sorts lately and I still have the point and click itch, I decided well, let's give it a shot. So let's jump right on in. Warning. Catastrophic failure imminent. Commencing unscheduled termination of cryogenic chamber operation. <laughs> Greetings, Rachel Manners. Please exit the cryo chamber and proceed immediately to the main deck. I'm assuming that's who I'm playing, this uh, Rachel Manners uh, lady. Hello, computer. Thank you for arriving so quickly, Rachel. I know you may be a little disoriented, but I need your help. What's going on? And where is everybody? The probe has been hit by a meteor storm. Several core systems have malfunctioned, and the probe is in danger of catastrophic failure. You must repair these systems immediately. This is getting better every second. You know that I'm an astrobiologist, and not a systems engineer, right? The vast majority of repair functions are automated. Unfortunately, the automatic maintenance of the life support sector is broken beyond repair. You need to reduce hazardous conditions or you won't be able to survive. All right, computer. You've won. Thank you, Rachel. And by the way, call me Julia. It's much better than calling me computer. Don't you think? Oh, uh, that's where the name comes Let me switch to a situation overview. Damn, this looks pretty serious. I wouldn't wake you up if it wasn't. So what do you need me to do? Just click on any red area on the map, and I will tell you more. Alright. So I'm going to do my best not to um, make the cursor leave the screen, but I'm playing this in windowed mode. Um, I'm not going to get into why bore you with the story, but anyway. Um, so yeah, if, if I accidentally make this cursor run off the edge of this window, the game will automatically pause, so if you see it do that, that's why. I'm going to do my best not to. Okay, so I can go over. I can click on these and she'll tell me what's up with the... Okay, so red arrows. There are three conditions we need to eliminate. Electricity, fire, and poisonous gas fumes. So I can use sprinklers to put out the fire, ventilators to get rid of the gas, and circuit breakers to turn off the electricity, right? Exactly. Only don't use water until the electricity is fixed. And don't use ventilators on the flames, or the fire will spread uncontrollably. I'm on it. Please brief me on my situation while I'm fixing this mess. You're currently on board an interstellar probe, JXZN12586. As of now, we're orbiting an unknown planet in the solar system of NGC9725. Everyone else is down on the planet. However, my contact with the crew was severed, so I cannot reach them anymore. Why was I left behind? You have been kept in the cryo chamber. What? I'm all alone on this probe, and all you can tell me is that we're in orbit, and the crew left me here. My memory blocks have been damaged, Rachel. I am not able to tell you much more. Oh joy, I'm stuck somewhere in space with an amnesiac computer. Do you have any kind of plan, computer? 
When you finish these repairs, I need you to send Mobot down for a crew extraction. They have some major explaining to do. Should I just switch these off? Now I can use the water, but there's no power. Aha! That turns on the water mist system. Okay. So everything's cool in this area. All right, so. Right, this is easy enough so far. No electrical problems in here, just fire. this one. So that was the one causing the electrical problems. Okay. There you go. I think it's fixed. Great job, Rachel. I can now switch us back to a default interface. I finished the automated repairs as well. So now you want me to go down there, right? No, that could be too hazardous, because we still do not know what happened to the crew. We will use Mobot. He is perfect for operations in practically any environment you can think of. You are the last crew member on this probe and we can't risk anything happening to you. Switch on the planet view and commence the landing procedure. I don't believe it. I'm finally seeing the surface of a distant planet up close. I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. This planet is Xenophone. I'll try to obtain some data about it from my backup database. Hopefully that one wasn't erased. Pardon my interruption, but my sensory reading suggests that this planet is polluted by an incredible amount of radiation. This is strange. This planet was thought to be one of the primary targets for our main mission. If this was our primary target, does that mean the whole mission was senseless? Could you estimate the cause? 
According to my preliminary tests, everything alive on this planet would have been wiped out approximately 500 years ago by a huge explosion. This explosion seemed to be hundreds of thousands of times more powerful than the most powerful nuclear bomb on Earth at the time of our departure. The planet obviously never recovered from this unnatural catastrophe. Julia, what's this thing down there on the map? It looks like an artificial structure. I think it's well worth exploring. I'm activating Mobot's exploration mode. Okay, do, do I guide Mobot? The station looks lifeless and deserted. Where has everybody gone? I'm uploading a map blueprint to ease your orientation. Interest, return to probe, reveal hotspots, okay. So this is like, give me a clue of what stuff I should be so I don't have to pick something. Got it. Alright. Judging by the surroundings, it doesn't seem the crew ever needed them. I guess they didn't need the reflectors. I would estimate that they must have fallen out of the storage space. This doesn't look good. Why would the crew have left it like that? Yes, and why is the door open? Before I uh, check on that, though. This served to transport crew members in and out of the station. Commentary. I don't need it myself. Observation. This reflector has fallen down. Oh, say. really? What a clever machine you are, my bot. Thank you. <laughs> no sense of humor, Mobot, huh? Obviously, they never had time to deploy the site properly. What the hell happened here? They should have equipped the robots with genuine people personalities, like in uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Some objects are half buried in the dust. Can you be more specific? I think they were once solar panels. This catwalk was originally meant to create a controlled passage without any risk of disturbing the environment. Another thing which the crew never bothered to use properly. We were supposed to use it to bring samples directly into our laboratory containment unit. I wonder what the crew found here. It was never used because it's still sealed. This is so strange. All these constellations, they look so... foreign. Let me inform you that you won't find any of those constellations oh, on yes. Earth. However, you might know that very bright star. We call it Shawla, and back home you would find it as the Lambda star in the Scorpius constellation. From this vista, none of those constellations make sense. The entire concept of constellations is flawed. They're just random stars glued together by human imagination. Well, of course, if you're going to look at them from a different area, it's going to be a different angle, and you're not going to have constellations, because the stars don't align the same way. Right. Back to the entrance, I guess. I still need to look at this. Those antennas provided a communication data channel between the station and the probe. Got a mini probe.
The power is off. As far as I was briefed, the stations were powered by solar panels. We should try searching for them outside. Good idea, Rachel. We won't be able to enter the station without power anyway. Well, I saw them. Can I uh, do anything with them? All right, so let's go back outside and let's go over here. There's the solar panels. Ah, oh, I can uncover them now, not just examine. Gotcha. This looks like a part of the solar panels device. I probably need to connect it. Is it still connected? See, the cable runs here. Observation. They are power sockets to provide electricity to external devices. Hmm. And maybe it's for getting some electricity inside. Right. So are they connected? I mean, this is uncovered. I can't... Oh, there we go. Is that another solar panel? I think I've uncovered all of the solar panels. They look broken, though. The panels are not broken. They are just overturned. I will, however, require assistance with their calibration. Let me get them back to their desired position first. Yeah, you do that, Moba. set back up. I'm assuming they're connected. This doesn't look broken, so I should probably be able to go inside now. Right? No? Can, can I turn the power on now? Is there a power switch somewhere here? Apparently not. Oh, there's something. Oh, that's just to go back outside. This ladder doesn't look very sturdy. The station was never meant to last that long, Rachel. Just how long has this been down here, and how long have I been in stasis? Commentary. These storage units contain equipment used for planetary exploration. There's a way I turn these on over here. Calibrate. Oh, I still got to calibrate it. My bad. All right. So how do I calibrate? Oh, okay. I just click on it. Oh, got that one. All right. I'll know it when I... There we go. I see the reflection on it. There. This device is a combined decontamination liquid sprinkler and ALPA filter equipped air cleaner. What? ULPA filters? My grandmother used those in her vacuum cleaner. I thought we'd be better equipped. I wonder how much Yamabushi was paid for these. So we're using outdated technology? Great. During the decontamination process, this pool gets filled with a liquid. Piece of Observation. This piece of cloth once belonged to someone's uniform. I can see dark stains which resemble dried That's blood. That's bad. Obtain sample, please. This metal plate looks as if it's out of place. Observation. It seems that something has slipped under it. Commentary. There is some sort of ID card stuck under the plate. Can you get it? Bingo. Hey, hey, it's our ticket into the station. Can, can I look at it? Do I have an... Uh, where's my inventory? I press I. Does that bring anything? No. Station. Log. I suppose maybe it would just... Oh. 
maybe just we'll use items automatically. Contaminated liquids are drained through this outlet. Expand map window. Oh, okay. Alright, that just gives me gotcha. This screen contains information about the station's decontamination module. I don't think I need decontamination right now. I will undergo this procedure when I return to the probe. Alexander Hinkley. Hello, is anybody home? All right, we are in. In like Flynn. Passwords, yeah, but that's something to keep in mind. I am unable to proceed. Right, and the door is that. locked. So, use the pilot, maybe? Navigator, something? Or some ID number, I suppose. I doubt that would be used as a uh, password, though. Messages. Remember that we're the last surviving members of this expedition. There's no excuse for mistakes. Any form of rules violation will be strictly punished. In other words... Like, is that like a way to say his name? Is that a weird way to say Alexander? Shorthand or something? Don't screw up or you'll have to deal with me. Is this a message incoming to him, or did he send this? Attention to all personnel. An emergency meeting will be held tomorrow. 2133-1929. Um, well, this looks like a year, but 1929 doesn't make any sense. Although, I suppose once you get off the Earth, Maybe 12 month cycle doesn't work? I don't know. I would I would think we would still use Earth years in, in space. Then again, I'm not an astronaut. 7 a.m. Salia time. Your presence is mandatory. Like, even if you landed on a different planet um, that obviously has a much different orbit, and the year would be a different number of days, would you still divide that up into 12 to make 12 months, or would you still keep roughly 30 day months and have that be as roughly about as many months, or and have that work out to however many months, whether it's five months or 30 months, or, hmm, interesting questions. Probably for someone else to ponder. Pavel, Krenahus. Are you online? I got some big news. What's up? Lark plans to blame it all on Cynthia. What is he thinking? No clue. Aren't you worried he can read our communication? At this point, I don't care. I am still stuck in the lab. Any progress? Nope. Looks like a poison, but I really could be anything. Sorry, I have to go now before we got charged with abusing communications again. Pavel, I'm not sure what will happen. I have some of my notes in my data pad. My password is Xander756. I should remember this in case anything happens to me. Try to make use of it somehow. So was there sabotage? Did someone sabotage this mission? Testing. One, two, three. Xenophon says hello. Sorry, I feel funny. I'm going to lie down. Please tell Scott to drop by. He never checks his messages. Media. Alright, some rocks. There to reflect the spotlights. And... Uh, this is... I'm not sure what kind of device this is. This looks like a briefcase. Is this... 
like some kind of seat. once I get more um, ID cards. Commentary. The station status module is malfunctioning. I was unable to obtain any reasonable data. There is a dead oh person. Oh my god. Is he dead? I doubt anything could still be alive down there. But I was hoping that somehow... Remember, the station power was off. This planet is plagued with extremely strong radiation, and all the life support functions, such as oxygen, were turned off. Yeah, I understand. But still, he doesn't exactly look fresh. No. Julia, how long has it been since contact disappeared? Would you like me to recalculate the time span in Earth years? Yes, please. Years? It would have been approximately 60 Earth years. Oh, shit. What? You let me sleep for 60 years? Your perception of time means very little to me, Rachel. Damn. 60 years? Then nobody could have survived. I need to find out what happened. Why did they choose to stay here with such insane levels of radiation? The body of a human male. Observation. There is an item in his pocket. Let me recover it. Yes. Oh good, I got another ID card. Andrew Lark. Military major, okay. So he could have been one of the like commanders of this, or at least part of like maybe security. Barf Krylop or Krylop. Still nothing. That's bullshit. It must be something obvious. Let's not alert the crew just yet. If she did that, she must be more clever than I thought. I don't care. Just nail it down. Let's make a nice trap for her little bird. Do you really think she's behind all this? Hell yes. Who else would it be? Pavel? Scott? Not bloody likely. What is that? What happened here? Maybe. Let's lure her out for a special date tonight. I know what you think, but it was necessary. Um, so what was the span of time between these two messages? Did, did he kill whoever he lured out? Cynthia Cleveland. You pretentious jerk. Who do you think you are? Crawl into some hole and die, okay? There must be enough of them on this stupid planet. I will not tolerate this. Yeah, right, freak. I know it's you, and I will get you sooner or later. What, what the hell happened in this place? Sample number 322 slash 133. Alright, so that's a rock. 322134, that's another rock. Fairly similar looking, facing the opposite direction, but more or less not exactly the same shape, but kind of close. And we got these spotlights again, and this, whatever this is. Alright. Work desk. This work desk once served as a multimedia station. It's broken though. Observation. For some reason, the crew did not keep the station tidy. This violates protocol 17 forward slash 970. Okay. Well, I don't think it matters much now. Apart from the dust, there's nothing significant. This is interesting. They just left this box in the middle of the floor. Well, whatever happened in here wasn't good. There may have been a struggle. Because stuff is just strewn all over the place. Observation. The chair fell over and was left there. Analysis. Either there was a fight, or someone tried to exit the room in haste. Like I said, a struggle. A laser gun? Well, this guy was military. It's a standard issue laser gun. The 
does it work? I may need to use it. Oh, it's the data pack. Ah, okay. Enter password. Hold on. Um, Xander756. No. Oh, it's Andrew Lark's data pad. All right, this is a different person's data pad. No, oh, that's crap. Please insert the nano SD memory card. No. Wow. Okay, well, I don't have one of those either. All right, so I'll have to come back to this later. I wonder where um, the other guy, Alexander Hinckley's data pad is. Because I actually have the password to that. D card lock, door. The door is locked. Yeah, I expected to see that. Um, oh, there's a data pad. All right. Is this Scott White's data pad? Well, I don't have his. Um, so the Xander seven five six won't work here either. I don't think. Nope. Okay. Alright. So who's gonna work? The pilot will probably be Andrew Lark, but let's try Hinkley first. Oh, it worked. Alright, cool. Alright, well. Can I save my game anytime? I think I can. Cool. All right, we'll leave off here and we'll explore. I guess that looked like maybe quarters, crew quarters of some kind. We'll explore that and try to figure out what in the hell is going on in this place next time.